Torah Ard Vayechi, let's start Vayechi, page Memhei. The Patsik says, Yehuda, your brothers will acknowledge you. So he says, Vina Yehuda, Nikal Shem, Apam Eida. It says, Yehuda is called Yehuda, like Leah said, Apam Eida, that's Hashem, now I'll thank, I will thank Hashem. But it doesn't only mean the concept of thanks, it's also the level of Haidoya. Shabbat Cholos and Shamit Yisrael made them a Nachnuloch, which not only means I thank you, it means I subjugate myself to you. Vanachnu Kedem, Mishtachnu Mamedem. Ela Lefi, Sha'at, Shalamat, Lefi, Shutach, it says, So why did she say, Hapam, now I will thank Hashem, or subjugate myself to Hashem? See, <coughs> so he says, Now that it's under the time and place, Hapam, Eda, Le Shalei, Kalitim, Shabbos. Not all times are equal. Sometimes you thank God more, sometimes less, sometimes you subjugate more, sometimes you subjugate yourself less. That's why Leah said, now I will make the menachdu. But in the source, Lebov, the Shamis are where they come from, are above time and place, and therefore they're called Yehuda. Because Yud, in the Hilosh and Kedish, Yud, before a word means future, it also means constant. Constant. Like it says, Kochayasi Eev, so Eev does. So, in other words, the word Yehuda, Haida, Huda is Haida. Yehuda means constantly, not now. Now, Leah said, Hapam Eida, now I will think Hashem. And then the source of the Shem is constant. Yehuda, nicht of Yehuda besegel taches adalid vinyin apam eida meaning. Why did Leah say now? Achalei de vizgalus bechinus Reuven Shimon Levi. They said now Leah said like this. After Reuven Shimon and Levi were born, then Yehuda was born. So now, after Yehuda was born, after Reuven Shimon and Levi, so now Leah comes along and says, now I will thank Hashem. Hapam eida says Hashem. Meaning, in other words, what causes, when Leah says, now I will thank Hashem, or sub, submit myself to Hashem, what does it mean? Now that Reuven, Shimon, and Levi are born, now, in other words, first there's an Aveda of Reuven, Shimon, and Levi, and then you can come to the level of Apam Eidas Hashem. Explain what Reuven, Shimon, and Levi have to do before Yehuda. What did, why did the Leah come Ruven? Ruben. Look at the difference between this son and Esav and all that stuff. Ben Bechin Yisriya, the level of the ear, Ru'u. Bechin Yisriya Zu, Egerem, Esam Shachit Bechin Yisava, which causes the level of Arye, uh, of love. Like it says, Pnei Arye Yamin, Arye Es Yisriya. The Patsik says the lion on the throne of Hashem is on the right. Arye is a level of Riyah. Same letters as the word Riyah. Seeing. Arye, Riyah. Now, if lion is on the right, that means seeing, which is Ahava, is on the right. So Riyah is a level of Chesed. So it was, it was, Reuven uh, uh, was on the east. In the, in the lineup of the, uh, the tribes. What is the union of Siyah? Why is, why is Re'iyah more the level of Ahav of love? It's more of a seeing. When you love somebody, you want to see him. You don't want to only hear them. Because seeing is a closer relationship. Like the beginning of the figs ripening, I saw your forefathers. What did Leah say when she called him Ruvain? Now, my husband's going to love me. So Ruvain is a level of Ava. Okay? What is this level of Ava Bayidin? Is less takola be according to Malka? To look into the greatness of Hashem, the Eder is to awaken the love of Hashem. 
Ashetach based on the base bark that you want to clean the Hashem completely. Bal dead as a tick no niskan niskan no bipsuka de zimra. Yaitzer kadem Krishna. Therefore, they have the meditation of before Krishna. Kadei Yavan lekim. You have to be Krishna to come to the level of Ava. What's, what's the union of Shema? We all have to say Shema lekachem. Right, we all have to say Shema lekachem. Ki ikir akavana. The prime level of loving Hashem is It's not only enough to know Hashem, understand Hashem in a level of helm of a concealment, meaning it's not revealed. Like he says, even a ganef, like we we'll learned the Gemara says in Baruch the ganef is about to break in daven to Hashem. So that means it's behelam. It's not revealed by him this love of Hashem because he has an open love of Hashem. He's not going to go steal. When it comes from the hidden to the revealed in a level of Yediyah, not only from level of Yediyah Levad, to seeing Elokos. Then you close the What? Yeah, but one second. He's going to talk about that. To see, to see a locus, by adding and making a lot of the praising of Hashem, to delve your mind. Your malchus is the source of all worlds. That meaning, like we learned, how many malachim are there? A thousand, thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, that's only one legion. And there's infinite legions. Okay? Which is to meditate into the only thing that exists is really Hashem. In the entire universe is only Hashem. He exists alone. And what echad shenim she bechinas alav beches v'dalav which is ayin rekim what? And then you come to the level of echad that you bring the alav Hashem into the ches and dalav which is seven heavens and earth in the four corners of the world. She betelim yichudi is baruch to become bottle shachayis shel shemayim ha'aretz oylev and nechul b'mkaded that to have the chayis of heaven and earth are all bottle to Hashem. Um, like it says, So what's Al Rebbe saying? The ultimate way of serving Hashem is when you have Re'iyah. Not only Shmiya, but actually Re'iyah. And therefore, Re'iyah is Ava. And therefore, Ruvain is called Ruvain because Ki Ato Yehavani Ishi. It's the level of Ru'ubain, seeing. So therefore, that's the Milo of Re'iyah. You know, the Altarebbe is going to explain Ruvain, Shimon, Levi, and Aveda. And then we can understand what Leia said. Now that I have the Aveda of Ruvain, Shimon, and Levi, now I can have Haida'a. Now I can submit myself to Hashem. are only the level of Malchus. So he says, when a person meditates, which is an ear, a person meditates into the level of Elokuts, then everything is really only Elokuts. This, that, that our world is only... Because Malchus, the lowest level of Elokos, Malchus creates worlds. But above Malchus is the other spheres, and then there's higher than that. When a person meditates into this, not only in the depth of his mind, not only just superficial knowledge, as I made it means that Ava bizgalus liber. Then he creates. In other words, like, like we learned many times, when a person understands, even in English, you say, you understand something well, you say, oh, I see. So what do you mean you see? You don't see. You hear it. What do you mean, oh, I see? The answer is, it, it's so ingrained within you what you saw and what you heard. You understand it so much. It's like you saw it. As I made him, he's a Ava Bezgal's Libi, his Nichts, and for Gam calls it Nafshi. That his Nishama is longing, and his soul is going out to Hashem. The Yavel, it came after Sashem, and then he'll come to the level of Ava, 
Alo dafka bay ain't tell Baruch or Mamish like it says, Mili Bishamay. So, now the Lord Rebbe is saying like this that through the level of Ri'ya, Ru'uvein, then you come to Ki'ato Yavani Ishi, then you come to the level of ultimate level of Ava, which is the real level of Ava, which is Mamish becoming Momothesha. That's the Ru'uvein. By the way, he's still going about Ru'uvein, he didn't finish Ru'uvein. Vein Exiv, it says in the Pasuk. The pasuk in Shema says "Bechol levav," and Chazal say "Bishnei Yitzirach with the Yitzir Tov and the Yitzir Hara." I know that the Ava b'chin is bali tshuva. That the Ava should be not only in the way of the nefesh or the kiss, which is the avid of tzaddikim, but with the nefesh shabamis is the avid of tshuva. That even the nefesh shabamis is transformed to kedusha. Right, the avid has become mitzvahs. Bali tshuva kia tshuva in a dafka b'mishi yesh b'yad everis chas v'shalom. The Alter Rebbe says now, and this is what the Misnagdim couldn't get, that the, the Alter Rebbe says tshuva doesn't mean only if you sin. The Alter Rebbe says here clearly, it's only b'mishi yesh everis chas v'shalom. Afilu b'chol adam, every person, no matter even a tzaddik, has to do tshuva. What is the union of tshuva? Ki in yina tshuva, what's the level of tshuva? Tshuva doesn't mean uh, that would normally mean charata, by the way. The Rebbe says in the Sicha, tshuva, tefillah, and tzedakah, the way it's defined, that, that uh, translated, all three of them are wrong. <laughs> tshuva, they translate is, is, is repentance. The Hebrew word for that is charata. Uh, tshuva, tefillah, they translate as prayer. That's usually bakasha. And say, uh, tshuva, tzedakah. They translate it as uh, charity, which is not. Tzedakah means righteousness. But I said, all three are Tshuva, Tfila, Tzedakah, you see, at the end of the Sanatayka, they're all three wrong interpretations. So he says over here, Dr. Rebbe says, what's Tshuva? The Hashiva is a Neshama, the Mekedah, the Shash, to return the Neshama to Lukus. That means you could be on the greatest of levels. Nevertheless, you return the Neshama to Hashem. Rebbe, what? What's so hard about the Because normally you define tshuva as if you sinned when you tell somebody to do tshuva. What do they mean to sure, sin? I mean, he'll just explain it to them what he means. And well, that's what Dr. Rebbe did explain to them. After Dr. Rebbe got out of prison, they wanted to have a, de- a debate with Dr. Rebbe. And Dr. Rebbe agreed to it. And one of the questions they asked Dr. Rebbe, which was in the biggest, one of the biggest complaints, not only on Chassidus, but on Kabbalah, because the Zayu says that Mashiach is going to go la Savit Sadikai B'tiyuvta. The Zayi said, Mashiach is going to get Tzadikim to do Tshuva. So he said to the Alter Rebbe, that you're telling us basically that we're, they, they said we're all Tzadikim, yeah, because they're humble, but Vamech Kulum Tzadikim. Uh, they said, how are you telling us that we need, we sinned, and therefore we need to do Tshuva. So the Alter Rebbe explained to them the whole story with the burning bush. Moshe Benu says, Eren, 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 and he says the word Ashuva, Ashuva, and Rashi says a Suramik. No, I'm sorry. He said a Suramikan. Meisha Benu says a Sura Liris Hamaria Godol Azeh. So Rashi says, what does it mean? A Sura No Hasim Mikan Liskadiv Lasham. I'm going to go away from here to go there. He's talking about Meisha Rabbeinu. What did Meisha Rabbeinu realize? I need to leave my present level to go to a higher level. That's called Chuba. Anytime you go to a higher level, you're returning closer to Hashem. Because as great as you are, it's finite, and the Ebesh is infinite. Hashem is infinite, and therefore, as much as you go, you have to go more. So he says, is to return the Neshama, which before the Neshama came into the world, it was bound with Hashem. And it was bound, with, bound in the bound of life. And it goes down from the glorious place. Stop, Shabbalem, as Agashim comes into this world. He says, now is that every understanding of Alakus that the Neshama has, even when it's in the body, no, when it's in the body, is nothing compared to what the Neshama had, because down here the Neshama is limited. Right? It's still time and place. The Neshama down here can have a fantastic understanding of Alakus, but the bottom line is still under time and place. Therefore, you have to return it to above time and place. 
like it's a vayitzak alasham batzalahem. Like the pasuk says, they cried out Hashem when it was narrow, oppressing. Kitzale yamalkem shubachin. It's made to the gvul. Tzar comes to the word made to the gvul. Boundary and limitation. While then Namash yotzei he has chameretz mitzrayim. That's the whole concept. Hashem took us out of mitzrayim. What does it mean from the level of meitzar? From the level of boundary and limitation. Shaydei midi yitzah sheyilin. Allah hepech, because the bitterness that he gets, to God the love of Hashem, but yes, it says, this kalah brain tell baruch Then it becomes, in other words, when you scream out, that means basically you're going out of the limitation. You're screaming out of the limitation. Yeah? So then he says, Ki yitzunah, and that's why Chazal Tehi, but Markham Shabali Chuba Imdam Sadiqin can't stand. Why? Because Tadikim, as great as there is Baininess is, is a level of Zman and Markham time and place. When a person calls out from limitations, that means they reach the supernatural. So that's a much greater level even than the Nishama's meditation of Tadikim. Look at Isa Bizayat. It's like the says in the Zayat about the Bali Chuba, the Mashkin Laba Khilayati. They bring down a higher level. Of fear, the Yisgili earning to Baruch Hu Mamish on Nafshi that you have the revelation of Alukos on his Nefesh, Achi Gamchayis Haguf and Nefesh Abamis to the extent that not only is the Nefesh only kids calling out Hashem, even the Nefesh Abamis is calling out Hashem. The Yisgili, I mean, it's Achi Gamchayis Haguf and Nefesh Abamis, Vakachesayim, and all the powers Seichel and Midas of the Nefesh Abamis. Yisabcho v'yeshuv el Hashem v'yisabcho chashecha nilu nahera. Okay, so now what did Leia say? Kira Hashem ba'onyi Ruben, and then she said, Kira Hashem is onyi. Hashem saw my affliction. Ki ato yavani ishi. What do you mean? So Ruben represents a level of, so to speak, the tshuva level, that you go out of your boundaries from the onyi, re Hashem is onyi, my affliction, my boundaries that I'm going out of, the bal tshuva, to see a lukus. Shaydei onyi merudi meridas ha-nefesh, shabes harus the lesata through awakening from below. Nim shekli is a sarus, it becomes awakening from above, or kamayim upon him. And yes, in the earth that comes from the level of Ri'iyah, Momayla Lamata from higher to lower, Ki Avani Bechinus Ishi. That meaning, the Ebeshter will love me. Right? Ishi is, like it said, Bayemo Tikrol Ishi. Upirish Ishi, what does Ishi mean? Ish Shali. Ishi is my fire. Shali Mamashaino Achuk, Shami Mata Lamayla. The chuk from lower to higher, alich ishech shukaseich. Well, after all the mechavas sin, yeah, so he became bali tshuva. So there, the pasuk says one of the curses of chava, while ishech shukaseich, your longing is going to be to your husband. That's the simple meaning, yeah. Here, now the Rebbe is saying, while ishech shukaseich, ishech means your fire, your neshama. Your desire was the most about tshuva that they sinned, right? Now they have to be do tshuva. So the about tshuva is that they have this tremendous longing to the fire of Hashem. And then it becomes ishi, then it becomes mine. That level of ava comes mine. That this ishi of the Jew becomes one with Hashem. ishi. Eish shali mamish that the eibishter's eish becomes mine. The amini tachabgeni and his right hand hugs me in the level of chibuk, this galunus of hugging and oneness. Kigili earns a baruch mamish al nafshi b'tshuk. Okay, so he says the Rebbe says this is the level of Ruven. Ruven is the level of the first parsha of Krishna because the second parsha begins im shemaya tishmu. The first parsha speaks b'chol avavcha. The level of Ava, that's the level of Ruven. That's the level of Riyah. But we mentioned many times, there's an interesting Pele Shavuot. It says in Mishpatim about an Evid, but if the master can give him a, a Shiksa, 
it says like this, in Begapa Yavai, Begapa Yetzi. If he comes in alone, he has to go out. I mean, he can again give him a, a wife. In Bali Show, if he's married, Beyatza Ishtayim, his wife goes out with him. That's what the simple meaning of the Pasik. So there's a Chassidim Shavart, it's not a Chabad Vart, but Chassidim say like this. It speaks about a Chassid going into a Rebbe, for Yechidis. It says like this, in Begapa Yavai, if you go with your goof, meaning you didn't make any spiritual preparation, you say, I'm here. The Gapa Yetzay, you're going to go out with your goof, nothing is going to accomplish. In Baal Ishahu, if you're a guy with an Aish burning fire, then the Yatsa Ishtoi Ima, you're going to take the Rebbe's fire with you. I mean, the Rebbe is going to instill the Rebbe's fire in you that you're going to have that level of fire. Like that's what the Rebbe is explaining over here, that through the fire that the Jew has, by the way, this is your Gemara, by the way. I think. Uh, you, the, you have the, your fire becomes all with Abish, this fire. Okay, so he says, Navina, Izao, in the Ruvain, that's the level of Ruvain, which is the Pasha, the Shemi Shibi Krishma, which is the level of lots of the longing, the Ahava, right? The longing to go out to Hashem. The Pasha, Shini, Abishabi Krishma, the second Pasha of Shema is the level of Shem, in Vahoyim, Shemaya Tishmu, which is the level of Shuv. In other words, there has to be Ratzu, the Shuv. There has to be the longing to get out of here, the Neshama to become one with Hashem, like Noda and Avil, to get out of the body and become one with Hashem. But then you have also the second level, the Ebishtah says, I want you to be in the body, not out of the body. That's the level of the second parish of Krishna. Kiriya Imikorik. He can't see things which are far away. Vahainobchinis Ava Shemachmis Sakira will come some closeness. Avo Shmiya, but listening and understanding that comes from the distance. And that's what causes the level of Yira. Meaning like this. From, from distance, somebody can explain to you and understand how frightful somebody is. And that causes a fear of the person, even though you never saw them. You never fear of the king, even though you never saw the king. Because Shmiya is from the distance, understanding, hearing comes, in other words, like this. When you see it, you're much closer. Picture is a thousand words. You see it, you become one with it. Listening is you're not becoming one with the object. You're just understanding it. So that's distant already, not physically distant. Spiritually distant is a much de- it's a further away level than the level of Riyah. And that's the concept of Shuv. Not becoming one with Hashem, the Neshama should leave the body. But on the contrary, the Neshama should stay in the body. As it is distant from Hashem and do Torah Mitzvah there. So in English, we say seeing is believing. It's really seeing is knowing. Seeing is believing, or when you hear something, we said before, when you hear something, you really understand, you say, oh, I see. So it's Meaning you understand it very well. Understand.